Hi everyone, happy new, or no, sorry, happy full moon. It is September 20th, the full moon. So what do you guys got planned? What full moon shit are you doing? First off, we're doing a tarot reading, aren't we? So, as I asked, what kind of full moon stuff do you got going on? Drop me a message. Tell me what you're doing for the full moon. I don't know what I'm doing tonight. Still thinking about it. Probably just gonna go do a moon meditation. Simple, easy. Take a look at everything I wrote down for my manifestations for the new moon. See if I'm on track for the next new moon. All that kind of stuff. Okay. Full moon, September 20th. We're going to cut the deck. And we're going to read. One, two, three. Okay, did you pick your cards? Let's go ahead and read. What's going on this week? Oh shit. <laughs> you see that? Okay, so at first glance, this does not look good, right? It looks like a freaking disaster. There's smoke in the sky. This house is burned down. This dude has one, one, two, three, four, five swords. Some of them are on the floor, some of them, he's obviously not fighting for anything. He's kind of just probably given up on trying to fight, right? Um, I don't know, do you see anything that caused this fire? Do you see any enemies? What, what happened, right? So, this card is usually a card of betrayal. I'm gonna ask you, are you feeling betrayed? Do you feel like maybe you burned your whole house down and now what are you doing because, oh my God, what's going on, right? Do you feel like you need to have five swords? Even though you only got two arms, you need five swords to be able to protect yourself. But it's okay that these two are sitting right here and you can't really use these two at the same time, right? What are you hoarding? What are you holding on to? What is making you feel comfortable because you're so far out of your comfort zone? you're like a fish out of water take some time and really think about that what the hell is going on why are you holding on to all of this kind of stuff and watching a house burn down okay card number two the queen of swords so in this card this is the reverse card right or it's the on the other side of the other card we've got the queen here she's sitting here she's got um, sorry, it's the Queen of Wands. I'm like, why the hell is she holding a wand if she has the swords? It's been a day. Got full moon's got me fucked up, I tell you. Okay, so we've got her wand here. We've got some sunflowers. Sunflowers are like action and and happiness and sun and movement and fire and all of that kind of stuff, right? We've got the idea of this extremely strong, powerful woman. And we're all going... Well, I can't be that strong, powerful woman. I This is the ideal of who I'm supposed to be because the queens are the ideals of who we're supposed to be. But take a look what's happening behind her back, behind her throne. And I don't want to say it's like behind her back she doesn't know what's going on because I'm pretty 100% sure she does know what's going on. And what is going on is she has help. We've got this woman here with this little girl and I'm gonna say she's the princess of wands and this is the nanny, right? To be the powerful, strong queen that we're always told we're supposed to be, we don't do it 100% on our own. We are not 100% superwoman, queen of wands, queen of swords, queen of, of anything, right? By ourselves. We have to have help. Nobody needs to know that we have help. It's shh, our little secret, right? Nobody needs to know that 
we've got somebody taking care of the child while we're sitting here being queen boss. We don't need to have anybody aware of this or we could have everybody aware of it. It don't really matter. It's all up to you. The problem that I'm seeing, or and it's not even a problem, what I'm seeing here is we're so intent on this ideal, this idea of what we're supposed to be, that we have to keep our realness hidden. We have to keep all of the stuff that we need help with hidden because we shouldn't need help. Oh my God, I can't be a queen boss if I need a nanny. Oh my God, I can't be a queen boss if I need this. And I wanna tell you something, okay? We say Queen B, Beyonce. She is the biggest, best badass there is, right? She's got a multi-dollar business. She's got massive sales on her um, her records and her albums and her music. She's married to probably what we could consider a badass in music also. She's got children. She's got everything. She's the queen. That's why we call her the queen, right? Because everything is ideal for her. But she's got teams doing work for her. Don't forget that. She is not afraid to say, okay, I'm bringing somebody in. I'm bringing somebody in to take care of this child for me so I can go have some self care time. She's not afraid to say, I don't wanna do the social media. I'm bringing somebody in for this. She's not afraid to say, I don't wanna dust. I don't wanna do laundry. I don't want to whatever it is and bring somebody in, okay? You have absolute right to do that too. And if you don't want to, you're going to feel like you have to hoard everything and you're going to watch your house go down. <sighs> Hoarding. This card is usually like a card of hard work and reaping your hard work and reaping what you sow. But all I'm seeing right now is hoarding. I'm seeing this guy go, uh-uh, I can't let somebody else do this. I have to be responsible for it. Uh-uh, I can't let somebody else carry this to the manufacturer, carry it to the warehouse, carry it to the shop, take it to wherever it has to go. I have to do it. I'm kind of impressed he has somebody right here helping him. Might be a partner, right? A spouse, somebody like that. And the two of them are refusing to have any kind of help because they have to do it. It's ideal. They're the ones who run the business completely, 100% by themselves. Now, there's no problem with this. There's no problem with running your business, running your house, running everything 100% completely by yourself. If that's what gives you joy, I'm going to Marie Kondo it. If that's what gives you joy, then you do that. You do whatever brings you joy. If it doesn't bring you joy and you're kind of watching your house go down, then you need to look at how you, can you do this. So one thing I'm picking up right here on this one is moms who go, oh my God, my the baby's dad never changes diapers. But then you go, ha ha, that's wrong. No, don't do it that way. I do it like this. He's not gonna help you change diapers. If you've got a mother-in-law or your mom or a sister or a babysitter and you're like, ha ha, that's wrong, don't do it. Then they're not gonna help, right? You're gonna have to actually pay somebody to do it that will listen to how you tell them to do that. Okay, so a minute ago I was saying that you can have all do all of this so that way you know how you want it done and then you teach other people how to do it. But you got to be careful with how you teach other people how to do it because if you get that bitchy little tone that I just showed you, then nobody's going to do it. And then you're going to be standing at a burned house again, hoarding on to everything going, oh my God, I have to be the ideal mom. Okay, and ouch for myself too. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys that too. When I'm reading for you guys, it sounds like I'm being a big bitch and I'm like the cards are just out to get us, but they're also talking to me and I'll watch the video over a couple of times also going, huh, okay, I see where, I, where I'm hoarding those swords and I see where I'm hoarding those wands and I see where I'm doing this stuff. What can I do to change this? Okay, so... For the full moon, this month we've been kind of talking about, let's get rid of stuff that we don't want. Let's change this. Let's start manifesting that. How are we working with this idea of manifesting it? What's really hurting? How do we fix it? This is tying into the whole month so far, okay? One of the things that's hurting is that we have this ideal of who we're supposed to be as the perfect modern woman. We're supposed to have a career. We're supposed to have a family. We're supposed to have children. We're supposed to have the perfect marriage. We're supposed to, we're supposed to, should, 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 like last video, right? That's not the case. 
you do you and fuck anyone who doesn't like it all right you do you if that means you've got a nanny or the cleaning lady who comes and scrubs windows or toilets or the bathroom or the oven or cobwebs or whatever and that's what makes you feel okay then you do you if it doesn't make you feel okay then you don't do you if you've got older children have them help you teach them how to help you because they're going to need those skills when they leave your house anyway so you might as well teach them right now don't hoard ideas of what you're supposed to be don't hold on to everything that's what you should be and watch your house go down or watch you go down okay and the idea of beyonce being the queen yeah she is the queen but she also employs a lot of people to help her be the queen okay so don't judge yourself if you don't have that same team helping you. All right. So I know you guys are kind of pissed at me with this reading. I'll let you simmer down and I will see you next week. Bye.